Hi guys. Mmm, coffee. Today I'm doing the video about my 2016 favorites. I can't believe it's already this year has gone by but personally it wasn't that good of a year so i can't say i'm too sad i'm looking forward to 2017 i'm not used to saying that it's just 2016 just rolls off my tongue anyways i did a separate video on my favorite perfumes because i just it would have been too much to include here so go check that out afterwards but I'm going to actually say my top, top favorite perfume for, for this year. That was so hard to choose, but it has to be Mave Ghost. I have used so much of this and I have been loving this and it's such a fresh and unique scent. And I talk more about in that video how I discovered fresh scents this year and what has made me start liking them. So that has been my top, top. And then I'm going to go with my favorite candle of the year, which was also almost impossible to choose. But again, it's a burrito thing. This is the apocalyptic candle from Byrido. And these are just so amazing. I can really recommend the Byrido candles. They are expensive, but they burn nicely. They smell great. They are beautiful to look at. And I'm definitely keeping this uh, even when it's empty. So this is a favorite favorite. And then I have some skincare type of things. Uh, for the face, I've been loving, and this is my third or something of this. It's the uh, Grease Lightning from Lush. This is a spot treatment and it has, I don't know, it has like thyme and rosemary and tea tree and a lot of stuff. And this really does work so when I get like breakouts I don't have that much now I just have some scarring but I do get breakouts from time to time and then I just put this on at night I don't recommend maybe using it at day because it kind of forms like a jelly and then turns into a crust so uh, it's kind of I don't know it doesn't look great and it doesn't look great under makeup but using this at night really helps me with breakouts so this is great and then another skincare is, I think everyone's going to be including this this year. It's the Glam Glow Original Mask. I have the white one, the purple one, and the blue one as well. And I've tried out one of the other ones. And I like them all, but the original still can't be beat. This is just the best mask ever. It's so expensive and I hate that, but it does really work. So I basically use this mostly as like a spray spot treatment as well like if I'm having breakouts in my forehead I use it on my forehead or I use it I usually get breakouts around here so then I use mostly in, in this area and so they last quite a long time and I really recommend if you can get them in these tubes this was a part of a, a Christmas package thingy uh, these keep so much longer because the tubs they tend to dry out very quickly so this one these ones are much better favorite shampoo of the year is this Brooklyn soap company I actually got this as like a PR, PR thing but it was for my husband because this is products for men so I didn't use it I just put it to, to the side and I wanted him to use it but it's really hard to get him to try different things and keep track of which bottle is what. So I just brought it out for myself and I used it. And it's it's not sulfate free, but it has only organic, I think, ingredients, meaning that um, the sulfates are still natural. And I don't know if that's what does it, but you get the effect of a normal shampoo that it cleans your hair very very well but you still get the nourishing and very soft uh, feeling that you get from a sulfate free shampoo so this is definitely wonderful i'm gonna see if i can get more of this and i'm gonna see if they have a conditioner as well and these don't have a particularly masculine scent they have kind of more like an herbaly scent. So that's what I was afraid of. Like I didn't want to use something that smelled like cologne or something. But this definitely works for men or women. And I just love this shampoo. And then favorite lip thing. You know that I don't wear makeup most of the time. Basically because my energy level levels are really low. I don't have the energy to put on makeup. 
but a lot of times I just like to slap on a lipstick or something and you look much better. I haven't done today though. Um, and I do prefer not particularly this color because I've had a lot of colors and some of them I've used up and some, some have gone old. But this formula, it's the, oh, I don't know what it's called now. It's something voluptuous candy or something like that, but in this packaging and it comes out almost like a gel and then it just kind of, it doesn't dry down, but it kind of adheres to your lips and it kind of feels still like a jelly consistency, but it just stays on there. So these are really a favorite and if it's if possible if it's not too expensive i'm gonna try buying more of these i've actually found these on sale so i've just been buying them after christmas each year then they have sale of those colors that was that were for that year so that's how i've been buying them because they're quite expensive but they are really really good Okay, last skincare thing. I have a lot of problems with my skin, especially on my hands. I have a lot of eczema and things like that. And I've tried one million things. Basically before I always used the Body Shop body butters and they are still a favorite. But now I found this. This is a brand new series from La Roche-Posay. It's the Lippy Care and they have a lot of different products, but this one is the Step 2 Balm. This one is the great one. And this is basically a, a body lotion. It kind of hurts when you put it on, so don't be afraid of that. It stings really bad if you have like open cuts or something. Uh, but that's the way with a lot of lotions that help with eczema. They often have different... Uh, acids and things in them so and I also use this for my lips it's just amazing for the lips I always have a problem with my lips mm, so I use this at night on my lips and it really helps and I use it on my hands and on my feet and it's just the best cream I've found in a long long time so hopefully this can help you out if you have really dry skin or really problematic skin. I have even once used it in my face, on my face, not in my face. Uh, I, I got some kind of uh, allergic reaction to a cream that I tried. I need some more coffee. Mm. Coffee is my lifesaver. So I, I actually used it on my face and it was fine. It actually helped a lot on my face too. Um, last like beauty thing and then I have some art supply things. This is this, I mean, who cares about a deodorant, right? But I just wanted to include this one because I find that if you love perfumes, I find it really hard to find deodorants that don't clash with my perfumes. And even if you buy the unscented ones, they are never unscented. They always have a scent. And some, some um, deodorants, they kind of, the scent lasts longer. But this one I've found is my favorite now. It's the Rexona Invisible Aqua, it says there. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Can you see it? This one is really good because it has just a slight fresh scent, but the scent wears off very, very quickly and doesn't leave any of that chemical scent. So that means that I can wear this deodorant and still put on perfume and just smell the perfume. So that's why I love this one. It's really hard for me to find, you know, if you don't buy the perfume deodorant, so you can have the deodorant and the fragrance. I just find that it's really hard to find a deodorant that doesn't clash with your perfumes. Okay, last two things. <sighs> Uh, last two things are art supplies. Up until now I've bought the cheapest art supplies basically and uh, now that I'm, I'm selling some of my art and I'm doing more things that take a lot longer I wanted better papers for it and I just wanted to include this paper. The brand is The Langton. I've tried a lot of papers but I have to say this one is my favorite. This is a uh, 100% cotton and it's one 140LB I think is what you're supposed to be looking for. I have no idea. But it's a more textured paper and it's quite thick and the glue is very strong on here too. 
So if you have any recommendations for better art supplies, then please write them down below because I think it's really fun finding new things and I've been really loving this paper. It's not for everyone because of the texture. It kind of gives your art a different type of look um, because it has such a rough texture, but I kind of like that. I think it just adds something natural and organic to your painting. So I love that one. And then last but not least, you know I paint a lot with ink. And up until now I've used the Quink, I think it's called. Uh, it got kind of expensive. It kind of can go yellow and can go blue. It's, it's fun to paint with, but it's also very unpredictable. So I found this one. I have no idea what the brand is because not a single word on here is readable to me because everything is in Japanese. But the bottle looks like this. And that obviously is the only uh, downside with this. If you want to paint, you have to squirt out the ink, meaning you can't save that ink. But what I did is I just kept the jar from the quink and I just filled that up. But this ink, it has a much stronger scent. And I think that would bother a lot of pe people, but actually I kind of like it. Uh, it's that classical ink scent that we don't really have anymore because we have the modern inks and this was a much better price it's huge it's gonna last me forever and it also doesn't go yellow or brown which i really like so that has been my favorite ink to paint with so this was kind of all over the place there's something for everyone and i would love to hear what your favorites for this year have been perfume candles art supplies skincare uh, either write it in the comments below or write it on my Instagram or uh, um, tag me in a video or something. That would be really fun to see. I hope your 2017 will be a good year and uh, I hope that you will still stick with me and my, my videos and my Instagram and stuff. And we will see where that goes. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Bye.